1.8 billion metric tons of cement is made annually, producing a whopping 5% of global carbon dioxide emissions. One of this year's TR10 innovators is Novachem, a British startup trying to solve the emission problem with a new way of making cement. We asked the company's chief scientist, Nicholas Vlasopoulos, why traditional cement manufacturers are responsible for so much carbon dioxide and how the new cement gets around the problem. The current way of making cement is problematic because um, you have to start with uh, limestone, which is calcium carbonate, and you have to process it by heating it at 1450 degrees Celsius. That means that you release all the carbon dioxide from the raw material and then you have additional uh, uh, carbon dioxide from the energy which uh, you need in order to make the processing. So all in all, for every tonne of Portland cement, you have to emit a huge amount of uh, carbon dioxide, nearly 800 kilograms. And that's the key problem actually that uh, the cement industry is facing. Our cement is different because we do not start from limestone. This means that we leave all the CO2 in the ground and we use materials that they do not contain carbon dioxide, like magnesium silicates. What we do then is we take the magnesium silicates, we process them in a low temperature way and we convert them to magnesium oxide, which is the base of our cement. The second technology is based on how you turn that magnesium oxide into a hydraulic cement, which is done by adding special kinds of magnesium carbonates. Those carbonates not only turn the oxide into a cement, but they also have a carbon negative footprint, which means that when you add it into the oxide, they can make a carbon negative cement just at the production stage. The industry itself actually comes to the realization that they have a huge problem to solve. So they have uh, the big cement uh, manufacturers, they have liaised with the International Energy Association and they created a roadmap which was published a few months ago. And what the roadmap says is actually that the current technology can only solve a 30% of uh, the problem. So they have actually to invest in new binders, in new cement systems, in order to, to, solve, to, to find a solution to, to the carbon emissions of uh, the industry. Novasem can help because it can license its technology to the big cement manufacturers and uh, this can help them offset their carbon emissions by selling a carbon negative product rather than by having to buy carbon credits. So it's a win-win scenario both for the cement manufacturers and Novasem itself.